वेलकम टू वीएसपी ला चैनल थैंक यू फॉर क्लिकिंग दिस वीडियो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस डिस्कॉलिफिकेशन ऑफ एमपीआर एमएलएस एज पर पीपल रिप्रेजेंटेशन एक्ट 1951 फ्रेंड्स दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक व्हाई बिकॉज़ रिसेंटली वी हर्ड दैट राहुल गांधी जी इज this was disqualified by the lok sabha in connection with the conviction confirmed by the trial court in the defamation suit so we are going to discuss the people representation act section 8 sub class 3 what says and what procedure are there deeply discuss friends before going to topic please subscribe like share forward to your friends and uh, social media thank you one and all so the people representation act 1951 this is only belongs to the mps or mlas political leaders so section 8 sub class 3 of the people representation act says if any mp or mla was convicted by the a trial court in a criminal case then the person is disqualified from his lok sabha membership or legislation membership so after pronouncement of the judgment so article 102 sub class 1 sub class e and section 8 sub class 3 of the people representation act deal with this procedure so section 8 sub class 4 says however if any person convicted by the trial court if he prefer an appeal before the appellate court then is a the automatic suspension of will not be affected for a period of the 3 months it means 3 months given for the a convicted person for preferring an appeal before the appellate court so this section 8 sub class 4 was taken down by the honorable supreme court of india 107 to 2030 so that effect the upa government has brought in a second amendment to the people representation act so the amend the intention of the amendment is that to not automatically effect of the suspension to the convicted persons of mla or mps mps so this in the year 2013 august the up government has done and uh, that was not approved by the lok sabha then in the 2013 august september 24th up government has a issued an ordinance for not effect of the automatically suspension for the disqualification a suspension of the mps so that then this that uh, there is a huge agitation uh, by the parties in india against that ordinance then rahul ji has dropped that proposal this is the 
then from that the, the supreme court order will be in force it means if any person mp has made a disqualified by the trial court in a conviction for a period of 2 years or more than 2 years then the suspension automatically effect after pronouncement of the judgment there is no waiting period of the 3 months in recently in rahul ji the surat court has convicted the rahul ji in defamation case and uh, the lok sabha issued a notification for suspension of the rahul ji from the lok sabha and uh, that is uh, on from 22 march 2023 and after that rahul ji preparing an appeal before the session court so that here is one important point is remember that if any appeal court as giving a stay or decreasing the imprisonment uh, imprisonment period from the 2 years to below 2 years decreasing means 18 months or 1 year then the suspension will not be affected the disqualification is not applicable remember this is the appeal court if appeal court is confirmed that a trial court judgment for period of 2 years more than 2 years then the suspension will be applicable this is a important point so this is a as per people representation act section 88 sub class 3 that mp was convicted by the trial court in any criminal case then immediately automatically after pronouncement of the judgment he became disqualified from the lok sabha this is a section 8 sub class 3 saying that So section eight sub class four already is taken down by the Supreme Court. There is no waiting period for three months. So that this is the topic, friends. And one more thing that recently a petition prefer before the Supreme Court under the Supreme Court of India to review review the disqualification process. and uh, they seeking that there is a exemption there is exemption in a defamation suits disqualification is not uh, applicable in defamation suits they are seeking a exemption but the petition uh, in supreme court of india so which is pending what apex court will says we will see that so this is the topic regarding the disqualification of the membership from the lok sabha if any person convicted by trial court then automatically the suspension or uh, means disqualification affected after pronouncement of the judgment of the trial court in criminal case for a period of 2 years or more than 2 years remember so this is the topic friends i hope you understand if you understand please give me like share subscribe please forward to your friends next up next topic we are going to discuss we will meet thank you for watching vilmula srinivas patel advocate of the high court of telangana and uh, andhra pradesh member of supreme court of india thank you one and all